11.13 p.m. last night, Sleepy Hollow Police Department responded to Barnhart Park on a report that a stabbing had occurred. Upon arrival, officers found a 17-year-old who had suffered serious stab wounds. The victim was subsequently transported by ambulance to Westchester Medical Center, where he died of his injury. The investigation unit also responded to process the crime scene. The information was quickly developed by Sleepy Hollow and Westchester County detectives about the identity of the assailant. At approximately 6.15 a.m., detectives from Sleepy Hollow and Westchester County tracked the suspect to an address in Yonkers and took him into custody there. The suspect is identified as Berenzen Baranta, he's age 16, of Storm Street in Terrytown. He is charged with second degree murder. The victim was Taj Robinson, he was 17 years old. Both the victim and the accused have roots here, and this senseless crime has saddened and shocked the people of Sleepy Hollow and the Terrytown School District. This is a terrible tragedy for our community. Our hearts and our prayers go out to the family of Taj Robinson and to the community. At this time, School Superintendent Dr. Daniel McCann, Terrytown Union Free School District, would like to say a few words. Thank you. This is uh, an unusually tragic event for our small, tight-knit community. Our sympathies are with the families impacted by it. We are making our counselors available through the weekend that's sleeping throughout the district to provide counseling as needed and discussions in small community groups. Again, our sympathies are with the families impacted by this event. Thank you. Can you spell the name, please? Can you spell the name of the victim? Oh, the victim. The victim? Taj, T A H J. T A H J. Right, Robinson. R O B I N S O N. And the name of the suspect. How do you spell that? Berenzen, B E R I N Z O N, Moranta, M O R O N T A. And the age? He is 16 years old. What's next for him? What's the process? He's been arraigned and uh, he'll go through court proceedings. Uh, we're continuing our investigation, so there's not a lot that I'm going to give you as far as how our investigation developed and or any other information regarding that. So the charge, the charge is? Murder in second degree. He's being held? He's being held. How much bail? No bail. As an, as an adult? Correct. Um, so what, anything, you can, you, anything you can talk to, to that would um, help parents understand it happened at a park or what led up to this? Or right. This was just a uh, senseless act that uh, we need to heal from as a community this community, we need to get together with the village, the school district, and, and just start to heal and, and continue the process of healing and preventing tragedies like this so they never occur again. Was there a fight prior to this? Was there a group of people? What uh, can you tell us about what happened? Again, I'm not going to get uh, that much into what transpired before, during, or after. They knew each other, the victim and the suspect? I uh, believe they did. Can you tell us where this happened? The location? Park. Where did this happen? Was at it at a park? park? Where? Barnhard Park. At what, what time, sir? At about 11.13 p.m. last night. And Chief, did you did you basically say that the uh, suspect is, uh, resides on Storm Street in Tarrytown? That's correct. Thank you. And the, and the, the park was open at the time? Is it, does it stay open or is it gated and off limits at that time or not? The, the park is open from uh, sunrise to sunset. Does the police department patrol the areas? Because I believe the, no people can be at the park after sundown. Is that the... That's correct. We do patrol that area. Coach, can we ask you a question? I mean, this is a heartbreak in so many ways, and then the game is canceled. What, what does that do to the program? What does that do for the... I know that may not be the most concerning thing at the moment, but that, a lot of, that, that is heartbreaking for the uh, We postponed homecoming. I think uh, we weren't ready to play that game as a community. Uh, it's a very celebratory event, the homecoming. The players needed time. Uh, this boy who lost his life was well liked. And again, our prayers are with his family. And we need to take our time uh, collectively as a community. And uh, now our students and our families need time to process that. Can you tell us about the student? You say he's very well liked, and obviously you I know can't, I can't right now. Uh, uh, is something that, that you'd want him to remember? 
justify as opposed to just the horrible way he died and, and being a victim? I think it suffices to say that he was liked by, by um, both students and, and faculty and his principals, um, and they were very sad and stand it, which is almost impossible to understand. Uh, a young life, any life, is so important. So uh, we're going to rely on uh, the strength of our support staff. Uh, we all will. We've been meeting throughout the day to plan and prepare for uh, not only uh, Tuesday, but the next two days before students return. So that's what we're about right now. Superintendent, was he uh, was Taj from Tarrytown or Sleepy Hollow? Where did he reside? Uh, this was uh, a former student, uh, uh, but uh, he did not reside here present. He, he did not. That's okay. correct. And the victim, was he involved in sports? Was he team uh, the teams? I can't give you that information right now. You know, we. Uh, my attention as superintendent is to make sure my team is in place. I didn't personally know this young man, uh, but uh, my attention has to be to uh, kind of shore up our staff. Uh, they're very upset, and uh, so that's where where our time is being spent right now. The suspect was an ex-student. Was he expelled? Do you know? I'm not going to comment on the suspect. I just I want to thank you for coming thank out you. and uh, we have things we have to get done. Dr. Daniel, sorry.